there guys, how y'all doing today? Friend of mine wanted a bar countertop for his house, so I told him a few months ago I'd build him one, and I finally got around to getting it finished up, so I'm going to let y'all take a look-see at it, and I got a couple little surprises I want to show you here, so hope y'all enjoy my friends, great to be here with you. Let's take a look-see here now, okay? These ship models, this one here I'm looking at is about three foot wide and three foot tall. They were made by Portuguese sailors, handmade in the 60s. I don't know the exact year. I've had them for about 30 years now. And uh, I had them sitting on top a credenza in the old office. This one is about 30 inches wide and about 30 inches tall. Oops, running into the sails. <laughs> Beautiful little ships. I've hooked up, screwed them up to these boards and had them wrapped in plastic. This third one is about 20, oh maybe 24 inches long and 20 inches tall. Beautiful little ships. Handmade. I believe the darker wood is mahogany. The lighter wood, I can't tell. I actually think it's some type of pine. But I'm not quite sure. I've got them down because I'm going to be putting them in a raffle. Here in Houston, well not a raffle, an auction I think it is, for charity. I'm giving them to a charity to auction off. Let me get my wording right guys. Really, really cute little ships. And very well built. When I went to get the uh, piece of cedar for his counter, I went to Clark's Hardwood Lumber here in Houston, Texas. They're in the Heights. They have a wonderful, wonderful large selection of slabs of wood for tabletops and river tables and, of course, uh, stocked lumber, all different kind of species. They bring in a lot of exotics. They have the uh, custom plywoods, the regular plywoods. They have oversized plywood. They also have a mill on site. If you need a custom molding made that you can't find anywhere, or you're repairing an old molding that no longer exists and you need some made, they can make it for you. Great, great folks. I also went and looked, there's another wonderful lumber yard here in Houston, Houston Hardwoods. And they also carry a lot of slabs, have a great selection of wood. They are uh, basically 290 and 610 off of 34th Street, I think it is. Real nice folks there. They also can make molding for you of any shape, any size, any configuration. Real nice guys over there too. So I'm going to show you all a few pictures around their supplies of wood here real quick. Okay? Okay. Hey my friends, here sits an 8 foot long by 2 inch thick piece of cedar. Gonna build a counter, or a, a bar counter out of it, I think. Well actually I know. <laughs> Hey, my friend, I know my pencil lines aren't 
showing up the greatest. I've been trying this camera everything I could to get these pencil lines to show up. But let me show you what I did back up here just a bit. Okay, How to be able to pick a square edge on a board like that. From the center of my dark wood, I measured and picked the middle. I did the exact same on the other end and picked the middle and drew a long straight line all the way down the board. I know y'all probably can't see it, but right down the middle or what I'm going to make the middle. Let's put it that way. Right? Now that I have that straight line, I can take the square, get the camera in the right place, Doug. Take the square and come off of that line to be able to draw my square edge. Is it square to this piece of wood? No, it's what you'd call square to this piece of wood overall. There is no such thing as squaring up to an edge like this. So I'm squaring up to a center line as if I had cut the board in half. The same way you would decide where to cut it in half if I was going to turn this into a river table. But I just want to get that straight mark to make my cut. And with that said, it's going to be straight, but I don't want a straight cut. I want a slightly jagged cut. So that's easy enough to do with the jigsaw, but still staying straight. In case y'all are wondering guys, that's a six inch blade for a jigsaw made by Bosch. Very thick, durable blade. Hold, holds up extremely well. Stays nice and straight, unlike a lot of jigsaw blades. Future bowl. with a slightly rough edge. Awesome awesome. In case y'all are wondering how I'm holding the other end over there. That's what you call a springboard clamp. My closest dog is about hole is about two foot away. That's a long story about the dog hole on these benches. But a simple uh, spring clamp or tension clamp holds it rock solid. If you've never seen one of these it goes down into the dog hole on the bench. The way they work, when the pressure is put here, it puts the dog in a bind, in a hole, and therefore allows you to put clamping pressure. And I mean it does hold, big time. But a dog hole is nothing more than a three quarter inch hole drilled into a bench. Dog hole. And this type of clamp is made by Craig. Other people do make them. It's basically a plate that you recess into your work surface. And then it has a notch in it. Which allows the tool to lock in. Push it in place. And clamp it down. If you were wondering why my board didn't fall when I cut it. I have clamps. Uh, vices on three sides of this clamp so when I'm making a long cut like this I put it on this bench and extend the clamp out 16 inches and use it to hold the catch off the fall off the cut off that piece
Hey guys, <clears throat> in this cedar you get a lot of those surface cracks and those ring cracks around the knot. And uh, I could fill this many a ways. I could put yellow glue in it, which I like to do, and sand the glue while it's wet and fill it with the dust. I could fill it with sienna acrylate or with resin. The problem on this softwood with cedar and uh, with sienna acrylate or, or CNA glue or resin is it's going to darken a spot in the wood and soak in very deep. And those glue spots will show in my finish and I don't want that. So on this cedar, this walnut, lighter color walnut wood putty works just fine for those little knots. And this is made by Famco here in the US and it dries rock solid. So I like to put that in, in this case, instead of resin or CNA glue or something like that. It just blends so beautifully with this cedar. Alrighty, my friends, I'm going to be cutting a little Texas Star insert to go in this countertop. And I'm using some bird's eye maple, which I've got at an eighth inch thick. I've got it stuck down to a sacrificial piece of wood with some two-sided tape. I've got my Texas Star template two-sided taped on down to my bird's eye maple. And I've got my white side uh, router bit inlay kit installed in the router. You cut the insert or the male in with the bushing off. You cut the receiver or the female in, in, end with the bushing on. And if you all want to see a full layout on that, there's a lot of good videos on the YouTube on setting up this bit and doing it. And I also put one out on a workbench video that I did a while back with the inlays. I believe it's called the inlay workbench if I'm not mistaken. And I'll see if I can put a link to that video in, uh, in the show more section here for you. There we go, my friends, one inlay. And like I say, guys, I've got a, uh, a full video on that workbench video on how to do that in detail. And I'll put you a link in the show more section, my friends, I promise. Alrighty, my friends. As you all see, I cut a notch on each end of this bar counter because he's going to drop it around a wall. 
and when you do have to drop around a wall like that it always helps if you take a bit of your back of your wood that won't be seen off back here because it's got to go in on an angle and it would want to drag and tear up his wall so I'm going to take a little bit out of the back so that doesn't happen too bad for him Sorry guys, I was covered with dust there. You'll see the little back cut. It'll make it so much easier to drop around that wall. And I stopped about a half inch shy of the ends here. Where you wouldn't even know it's there when it's sitting in place. Nope, my shop never gets dirty guys. <laughs> Little pig pen right now. Oh well, we'll clean it up. Here we go, guys. Let me show y'all. Not the finished product. What we're doing here is we're putting on two coats of sanding sealer and then gonna sand it down. All nice and smooth. So when my friend installs it in his house, he can put the finished coats of gloss on it. It's drying right now. That's why it looks a little dull and shiny. But it came out really nice. Got him some glass smooth edges on it. I left these ends. Can y'all see that? Let me see if we can get it. I left these ends intentionally rough so I didn't have a smooth straight edge there not much just slightly looks a little better than that straight cut because there's no straight cuts on this thing anywhere and like I say a nice pretty edge love the way the white stays along the whole edge of the cedar if you remember those bad knots that were sticking out in the board and I put that route on the bottom so when he drops it around the wall but it came out really nice. Fun little counter to Bill. Here I go again on my third take to shoot this. Guys, that was a lot of fun to make and I sure hope my friend likes it. Uh, that cedar makes a very, very pretty countertop. I love it. And I sure hope he does too. Well, I, I think he will. He's seen a picture of it so far and he's been happy. I've got a few other things I'm working on. I'm getting ready to remodel my drill press. Y'all might have noticed in a couple of pictures, I have a, um, oh God, I think it's called woodpecker. Um, drill press on the on the table on the drill. The, 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 the. I'm modifying it. So long story short, I'll show y'all in the video. And got to get a few projects finished up. Uh, I was on one of uh, Jake Thompson's with Northside um, live streams the other day and he was raffling off one of his castings for charity uh, so I won the raffle on it and Jake is sending it to me and I'm going to be turning it here real soon and then I'm going to raffle it off for charity again. So, I'll be showing y'all that here pretty soon. But, guys, I hope you like that little countertop. If you're in Houston, check out Houston Hardwoods or Clark's Hardwood Lumber. You can also check them online. They're great folks. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. I'm going to get back at it here, guys. See you in a bit now. Bye. I'll be back. <laughs> Take 27. <laughs> really guys, I'm having trouble talking. If you get the chance, subscribe! <laughs> I gotta get Bach to it now. <laughs> uh, what? 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 It's all good, I promise you. I'm Bach. If y'all never met me before, I'm Doug. <laughs> it. 
Hit that like button for me now, please, if you don't mind. I do appreciate it. Especially like the good comments. Those are the most appreciated. <laughs> All right.